Welcome to this video on how to use Microsoft Bookings Calendar for scheduling your appointments to make things a lot easier for you and the people who are trying to get your time. So Microsoft Bookings is an application within Microsoft, so most people will have it available. If you do have it available, if you go onto any web page and you're on Microsoft Excel or anything like that, go up into the top left hand corner, you'll see the nine dots. And if you click on those, bookings will be an option on there. It doesn't cost anything else if it's included within your license. So in this video, we're gonna walk, I'm gonna walk you through how to create different meeting options so that people can go in and select a time that works for them and works for you. And you can be really specific or really open about what you give people access to. And it's gonna remove those scheduling headaches that I'm sure we all have when we go backwards and forwards and people try to overbook on your lunch or another meeting because they're not sure what it is. You can be really clear on exactly what time you give people to enable them to put in your diary. The things like catch-ups, the things like demos, if you've got clients or you need to demo out some software to anyone in your business, there's loads of great examples of it. it maybe you have a big team as well and you want people to book in their one-to-ones or their end-of-year reviews, things like that. This can really help you revolutionise your process, be a lot more productive and allow people to see the bits of your calendar you want them to see and get them to book when you want them to book as well we've have without having to do that backwards and that forwards like i mentioned so when you're in microsoft bookings it's going to look a little bit like this you can see my name in the top left hand corner there is two sections there's a personal booking page which is what we're going to do and i'm going to show you a couple of different services that i'll create to give you some examples and then you've got shared booking pages at the bottom I've used this previously before as a trainer when I've not had a learning management system. I've actually used shared booking pages in order to create events and then multiple people can book on my training events. So it's, it does have a lot more uses as well. But for this video, we're going to really focus on making you much more productive and helping you to schedule your meetings with your customers, your clients, your team members a lot more efficiently. So let's have a look at that personalized booking page and I'm going to create a meeting type. So I'm going to click on create a meeting type and I'll get a pop-up box which is going to give me an example and what I'm going to put up. I'm going to put here product demo. Now I can categorize it if I want and when it does create a meeting in my diary it will come up with a category. If you click on the drop down You'll see what you see on Outlook, any categories you've already created, and you can see you can create a new category at the bottom as well. I'm gonna just leave that as it is. Then you've got a little bit of a description. Now, if you put nothing in here, it will just go book time to connect with me. So I'm gonna book time for a demo of the product. You can add whatever you want to put in there. That will go through in the meeting invite when it's created and it'll be on your your bookings page as well. So you can put a location in, but it does automatically select a team meeting. What, what will happen is a team's meeting will automatically go in your calendar and also their calendar. So you don't need to worry about any of that as well. It's all done automatically, which is a massive productivity saver. Now we've got 30 minute slots here, but you can see you can select whatever time slot works best for you. And you can even customize it if one of those options don't work. So I'm gonna say a 45 minute demo is gonna be really great. Now I just wanna explain the public and the private piece. So in general, we will all have a public page, but I'm gonna share this link with everyone anyway. If you want this to be private, so if this is maybe just for your team, for one-to-ones or end of year reviews, then you can make this service, this meeting type private, and then anyone, or the only people that can see and book that type is if they have a link to it. So I'm just gonna leave this public right now. And then if I keep going down, you can see schedule customization. So it's at the moment, it's using my regular meeting hours. So this is the times that are set on my Outlook as what hours do I usually work? So that's nine or five. It will take into account anything on your calendar already, and it will dynamically update when new things come in. But if I click on that drop down, you can see I've got the option to use customized availability hours. So if you only want to have product demos on two days a week, 
at certain times of the day, then that will really work as well. So let's just click on customize and then just scroll down and then you can see the time scales that work best for you. So I'm going to take off Mondays and Fridays and I'm only going to do it from. And now you can over type this or you can just scroll down, whatever works best for you, from to. two till five. This is the only time that it's going to book. And remember, it's also going to take into account what's in my calendar. So if I've got meetings on a Tuesday between two and five, there's going to be no slots available because I'm already busy. But what you can also do is just have this date range active, uh, This sorry, these time scales active in a specific date range. So it may be that you just want this for a couple of weeks and then maybe you're going to go back you can see you've got only during the following date range option available so you can choose whatever you want and obviously you can come in at any point and make changes to it do not worry but I'm going to leave that as it is and finally I'm just going to go into the advanced options at the bottom so you can see what those look like as well so I've got a few options here do I want a buffer time before the meeting do I want a buffer time after the meeting? You can see exactly what it's going to look like on the calendar. Let's pop in a 15 minute buffer time. Either way. Limit the start time to 30 minute intervals. You can limit your start time. Um, your maximum lead time, minimum, sorry, lead time and maximum lead time. So people can book there an hour away. So someone can book in an hour's time. And people can book up to 90 days. But if you don't want anyone booking any demos right now, you want to be given a day or so's notice, then you might want to put in a lead time that's a bit longer. It's up to you. Have a play around with it. So when I finish this now, if someone goes on and has a look and tries to book, they're not going to see any, any options for two days anyway because I need a lead time of two days. And that will continue on every time. It just means that someone doesn't put a demo in your diary at the last minute, just for my example, that's what I'm using, so I can prepare what I need to. Email reminders, you can see it's setting up those for as normal and email follow-ups. I can add them if I want to as well, so I can really, really customise this to whatever works best for me. This is possibly useful if you are doing a demo, especially to a client or anything, and you want to give them some extra information afterwards. You don't have to remember to go on and send them an email with a load of attachments. You can create that in advance, which is great. And when I'm happy, I'm just going to click save. And what you'll see now there is I've got, now I do, this did happen to me last time. I got a duplicate. I'm not sure why. So I'm just going to free dots and delete and get rid of one of them. And it's just given me that option there now I've got in my personal booking page I've got a product demo of 45 minutes that someone can book I'm just going to create another one just so you can see I've got two there because I think it's really useful if I have a look at my booking page once I've got more than one service so you can really see how you can do this so let's have a look at create meeting type again and let's do a let's do a weekly catch up 30 minutes nice and simple use my regular meeting hours I'm going to leave it at that Advanced options, I'm just going to move the lead time to a day so I don't get caught out. And I don't really need any buffer time before or after, it's just a catch up. So I'm more than happy with that. So I can click on save. And this time I didn't get a duplicate, I'm not sure why I did that time. Sometimes you do get things that happen like that. So you saw there, I just deleted that duplicate of the product demo and it was absolutely fine. So now I've got two services in there, two meeting types that people can book with me that I don't have to go backwards and forwards. I can be much more productive. People can do it themselves. It will remember, like I said, it will look at what time scales you've given it and then it will look what's in your diary. But assuming they're using Microsoft as well, they're within your business, then it will also look at their diary. So the system will automatically only give them options that work for all of those free scenarios. Are they free? Are you free? And is it within the scheduled time that you have given? So it's really, really clever. And it will automatically do the Teams meeting invites and send anything out if you've set that up. So let's have a look at our personal booking page. This is our booking page. So you can see here I've got two different meeting types. I've got a weekly catch up and I have a product demo. As soon as I click between those, the options changed because obviously the weekly catch-up, I didn't change those timescales 
So this is all day it's looking at, and I've got a lot of flexibility. But with the product demo, I only allowed it at certain times of the day, and I have a two-day lead time as well. So even though we're on the 4th, I can only do it till Tuesday because Monday and Friday it was out. If we were on Monday, I wouldn't even be able to do it on Tuesday as well because it wouldn't fit that two-day lead time. So it's really, really useful. And what the user would do is they would go on, select the slot thereafter, click on next, and then they would put their information in there, any notes, and then click on book. And what that will do then is it will create that Teams meeting in their diary and your diary, which means that you know exactly what you need to do and you can see the meeting details have popped up there as well. There is a reschedule option that can reschedule if they need to, works really, really nice. But this is a great way that you can just share a booking page with different meeting types on there, different maybe demos. So people book in your diary when you are available and when they are available without all that going backwards and forwards, without wasting that time. And it just makes you look really professional. And remember, it syncs constantly as well. So don't worry about putting other meetings in your diary. They will immediately come off your booking page if need be. So super, super useful one to start playing around with it. Remember, you can make them private if you need to. So let's just do this three dots and you can see I've got a private option there. So I'm making that one private. So you can see that is a private and public. And I can then, if I click on the three dots, because it is private, I've got a new option there, copy single use link. So I can pass that on and people can see that one. If I go onto my public one, there isn't that different link there. So if I go back to my page, just copy that and just go back to my browser window again and paste that in. You can see now I've just got my product demo because my weekly one is private. If I just grab a hold of that link, the copy that single use link and just open up a final tab just to show you what this looks like. And then this is the private link that I can just send to my team to book their weekly catch up some stuff. So you can really play around with it. You can move them in and out of private if you need to. You can make that public again. You can see you've got the duplicate option as well. So you can have, you don't have to go in and play around with all those settings. If you're really happy, but you want to give it a different title, because then it's going to come on your calendar with that title that makes sense to you and whoever's booking it then duplicates a really nice option as well. And you can obviously delete it if you no longer need it. So I definitely encourage you to try out the Microsoft Bookings calendar for your scheduling needs. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for tons of more productivity tips and useful tips on how to use the Microsoft tools. And let us know what videos you'd like us to record next.